Right, we're just going to set up one other phone and just so we can have another conversation. So let me just go to extensions. Not two one three. I'm going to set up a two one one. Oh, what am I doing? Go back. New extension. Chansip Legacy. I'm going to call it uh, 2112 because I have done this before but on a different setup. I'm going to call it um, Nick2 and we'll use the same password 1234abc. Uh, we're going to advanced and we'll just change that mode to no, never. Uh, we'll submit that. There we go. So the 2113 is already set up. 2112 is ready to go. I'm going to hit apply config. And I'm just going to get another phone like this one in as well. That's going to go. So we're going to zoom back a little bit. Move this, move this slightly over here. Okay, cool. So another 7940. I'm going to plug the power in. Um, in fact, um, before I do that, let me just send the because SIP config is going to work out of the box. Um, what I need to do is is set up. The, um, the MAC address for this one to set up a new file which I've got in this folder here so let me just do a copy zip zero zero yeah one two four here we go brilliant so this is zero zero one two four three three I'll just check the underneath yeah, BFB3, awesome. So we're going to copy this. Twelve four. I'm going to copy the new one over. And the new one, when we go into the TFTP server. Oops. Nano, mano, if you move your fingers, it says map. Great. Zip zero zero um twelve twelve forty three. Cool. And did I call it two one one yeah, two one one two. Oh it's already set up, cool. So I, I for this one I, I had a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But fan label still in its cave because it doesn't matter if, if something's in zip config if you put it in here, it overwrites it. So basically, 2112 password 1234 ABC. Brilliant. So now, when I turn this phone on, I plug in my other hacked cable. This one should just automatically work. Two one one two, two one one three. Because there's one, one further, one further gotcha. I think we'll need to amend. So the NAT is set to no on both the extensions in Free PBX. But. And this is what I need to test because I haven't tested this with two 7940s. I've tested this previously with a 7945. And basically you hear audio out of one of the phones only. Um, even even when it's registered. So request the config. Look at that. Beautiful. So previously two were on, the, on this phone. I set up a, a custom logo. And I haven't done a factory reset but it's obviously not pulled. It's 
there's nothing set up so there's basically there's no logo to show it's not showing the default anymore so 2112 if I now call 2113 see if this works so I'm gonna tr right I'm gonna have to trust me on this one right so I'm talking into 212 I can hear it in 2113 and oh it's working oh cool so maybe it's the limitation of this the 7945 so that is working on both right okay well that was a bit of a letdown um, basically what I was going to show and can't really do much about it now but in zip default um, there we go what I had to do to get to to allow to allow the seventy nine forty five to be heard, or the, I can't remember which way around it was, but either NAT enable to one or NAT receiving process to one. Doesn't matter which way around it is, but in my testing, just having those two, uh, one of them being enabled, uh, allowed the the trap the voice to to carry over without having to amend any of the guest settings or anything like that. So. Um, have a play that might be useful the only other thing to show here is on the so on the server we don't have the ring.dat files so at the moment when I when you go into here and you go to the ring type oh, we'll, lose, we'll lose that one for now so that's proven its point when you go into The ring type select there's just chirp chirp one chirp two oops not particularly exciting but because obviously the TFTP server is on free PBX all the time um, did I not send that file oh I did send the file what have I done I don't know what I did there. Anyway, um, so in here I've got ring list and CTU raw and dial plan. So you can see it, it works without the dial plan. Um, but let's just so when I to, to show you what what dial plan does. When I do two, if I do a new call, two one one two. doesn't do anything I have to hit dial okay so now when I have a dial plan let's just SCP the dial plan over I'll have a look at that dial plan Quite handy windows not being case sensitive, but it is it does mess with your head when you're switching between the two and you have to remember. So dial plan on here. What is basically oh, that you can't see because of the um <laughs> right okay let me just do this. <laughs> you can't see because of the colour co the colour coding, but basically Dial plan. So if, if the if the number I'm dialing matches a two with three digits, so I've set up you know two one one two two one one three. Basically, it will dial straight away with with a zero timeout. So just as soon as, it, as soon as it sees four numbers that match this plan, then it will dial. That's basically what it is. So um, now the dial plan is there. I'm actually wondering if this will work straight away if I just do two one one two. Interesting. Do I have to reboot? So the dial plan is is now there, but I'm going to reboot reboot this this phone and we'll see what happens in a minute. So now, if I go dial two one two, ta-da! That's my dial plan. 
So again, instant dial. Because it matches. Because I've rebooted this one, if I dial two one three on the other one. Ah, it has picked it up. So maybe anyway. So that's that's the dial plan. So the last one to put on is um, the most important. And that is CTU twenty four raw and ringless dot dat. So we're gonna copy over I don't know, I need to look how to do two at once. There must be a way to do this, but CTU raw, I'm gonna copy that one over and ringlist.dat. Ringlist. Cool. So now oh. right, so the, they're on the server. I've not done anything, I've not rebooted, but they are there. CTU raw and plan. But now when I go to the phone and I hit the ring type and if I go play this okay that oh hang on try again ring list don't quite get that I could have sworn it would have worked out of the box Figuring IP. Oh, right. No idea, but that took forever. Very strange. Ring type. There we go. So maybe you do need to turn it off and on. And that's the reason to get a Cisco 7940 or other variation. Didn't select it, did I? Select play. Okay, cool. So now when I get, when I get a call, <laughs> and I haven't rebooted. Yeah, so maybe you do need to reboot. Okay. Um, anyway, that is now set up. On the local network, um, not really too sure what I'm going to use it for, but it was it was a cool project. And not seeing that little X having the phone registered um, is pretty awesome. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you like this type of this type of stuff. And uh, hopefully, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.